Okay, we're going to go through a quick tutorial on Gear 360 Action Director. Uh, this program, you have to download separately, but the uh, activation code required to use it comes with your Gear 360 camera. Uh, so it pops up here after you get it all installed. Easy to install, you know, just download the zip file, extract it, and run the installer. Uh, now the first time you click the 360 VR video here, it's going to actually prompt you for your activation code. Uh, that activation code uh, would come a small piece of paper inside of your Gear 360 camera uh, packaging there. So make sure you find that, keep it. Uh, if you lose it, you got to pay to replace it. Uh, now it comes with this uh, little sample video that you can mess around with. Uh, we are not going to use that for now. So here you can see we have a blank project. We're going to click uh, search for media. Import media files. And see if we can find where our stuff is saved here. Okay. Now I found with uh, videos, you'd have to pull in the, the 360 videos one at a time if you wanted to splice multiple videos together. Uh, to make this go quick, we're going to pull in photos and try to make a video slideshow. Uh, so we've got them all selected there. We'll click open and it's pulled them in. Okay. Now we've got all our videos in the media library on the left hand side here. Uh, to add them into our, our project, we're going to pull them into the storyboard down at the bottom. Uh, so they're numbered in order of how they were taken. We'll go ahead and leave them in that order. You can see as I'm dragging them onto the storyboard, a uh, little green check mark shows up and lets you know you've already added that to the storyboard. Okay, so now we've got them all on there. Uh, now the default that shows each picture for five seconds, we're going to want to change that. So I've got one of them selected here. We're going to go to the little timer icon. And you can see it pops up. It's a uh, it's timer. We'll highlight the five and change that. I'm going to go with 12 seconds. Uh, really, I want it to show for about 10 seconds so you have enough time to kind of look around in each photo. Uh, but I'm using 12 seconds uh, to account for, and we're going to add a small transition between each photo. Uh, so we'll say OK there. Let's actually see if we can select. Uh, there we go. So we got multiple pictures selected now. We still have the timer icon. And we'll go ahead and change them all. Uh, to 12 seconds. And you can see at the bottom they've all been changed to 12 seconds. That's what we wanted. Okay. Uh, so now I mentioned we want to add a transition in between photos. Uh, so up at the uh, top there you've got three tabs. Uh, media, which you can actually select between uh, your video files, which I haven't pulled any in, and then your photos. Uh, so you could do a combination of videos and photos. And we'll click on the transitions. And you can see there's uh, several different transitions already pulled in that we could choose from. Gives you a preview of what it'll look like. Uh, we're going to keep it simple and go with the fade. And then this is handy. Uh, so you could you could drag the fade down into whichever uh, slides you wanted or 
you've got an icon here that applies fading transition to all videos. So we'll select that. And then you get a choice between prefix transition, postfix, or uh, overlap transition. And we'll choose the overlap transition. So now that we've got that selected, we've got our transitions built in. Uh, let's add a title uh, to the beginning of the project here. So one way to do it, uh, we've got the first slide selected and we could click our add title to effect um, to the selected clip and this would add, let us add text uh, right into the uh, picture. Uh, another way to do it, what I think we'll do is uh, go to our titles tab at the top and now you can see there's a uh, different different titles available This looks like a good one. Uh, so we'll use this. We can just take it now and drag it to the front of our storyboard. Okay, now we have it selected. We'll click on the uh, modify text icon. And let's add our title. select OK. Now again you can see it's uh, defaulting the title for 10 seconds. That's uh, maybe a little longer than I'd like so let's change that down. We'll want 5 seconds so we're going to choose 6 and that way with the transition oh, we're going to have to add the transition. Drag the transition down. Now we have a transition between the title and our first slide. Uh, so, so there you have all your uh, slides in place. You can click play here for a quick preview. And that shows you the, uh, the transition there where the title overlaps onto the first slide. And you can see the transition between slides. So that looks good. Uh, one one other thing we, we might do uh, would be to add music so you can see the big music icon uh, If you clicked on that you could go in here and click add and then browse your files on your computer for uh, a track that you want to add to your project and Adjust the sound volume between the uh, track you've added and the videos uh, audio that recorded uh, in this case, since we're going to add it to YouTube, uh, I don't want to deal with any copyright uh, issues, so we're going to leave the sound out for now. Uh, so I think uh, we're good to go there. I'll show you now. Uh, you can just go to this uh, Produce button, and we'll click on that. And I have... Uh, choice the default is going to be as an mp4 which is what we're going to stick with uh, that's a, a good format for streaming on you know social media sites like Facebook and YouTube uh, so we'll leave that alone you can see here you can change the uh, resolution uh, one thing to note uh, if you record a video using your gear 360 camera uh, on the highest resolution the 4k setting uh, the mobile app, at least on my Note 5, uh, will not let you stitch that video together in the mobile app uh, at that 4K resolution. Uh, it automatically defaults it down to the 2560 setting. Uh, so using Action Director uh, with the 4K resolution, and it's actually 3840 by 1920, uh, is the uh, only way I've found, or the easiest way I've found to... Uh, wind up with a, with a 4K video uh, from your Gear 360 camera. Uh, but in this case, uh, 2560 is going to be fine. We'll leave it at that so it streams nicely. And we'll press uh, oh, Start. But first, before we hit Start, uh, you can see here in the Output folder, uh, it's going to save to the computer. And you can actually change the name right here of the file that saves.
and we'll call it Garden of the Gods GOG test. Uh, so we'll hit start. And now it's producing and you can uh, follow the progress. It gives you a little percentage here uh, as the bar completes. And you also have a uh, bar moving along the bottom letting you know how it's uh, coming along. Uh, so that'll take a few minutes. Um, we'll come back and then uh, we can preview the video. There our video is saved as an MP4, so if we just double click it, it's going to, on my computer I've got Windows Media um, as my default viewer, so it just starts playing there. Uh, Windows Media will play the video, but as you can see it doesn't show up as a uh, 360, you know, we can't move the picture around, it's just showing us the full equirectangular uh, format. But we do get to see the, uh, the transition, so we can preview all of that, everything looks good. Uh, so, if we're happy with that, then uh, now you can just upload it to YouTube uh, like you would normally, and uh, YouTube will automatically recognize it as a 360 video, uh, where you'll be able to view it mobily. You know, if people view your video, you'll be able to uh, look around the uh, inside the video. Uh, so, I will share a link to the uh, 360 video on YouTube, uh, so you can check it out.